romantic. On a day like today, anything can happen. Yes, like cardiac arrest. Look, George, isn't that the Mitchell car ahead? Great! Maybe we can get a lift. This is a new compact dirigiblim built by my company. I thought I'd show you kids a test flight. Margaret, you hold the remote control while we uncover the dirigiblim. Good move, Dad. She knows all about hot air. Oh, wow! Wait a minute. Let me find the flight manual. Meanwhile, don't you kids touch anything. OK, Dad. It looks like mission control. Dennis Mitchell. You're not supposed to touch anything. Now, where could it be? Ah, here it is. Now we'll get that thing off the ground. Dennis! Mr. Mitchell! I didn't do it! Wait! Come back! Hello, Henry. George, Martha, a bike! Would you like to buy it? This is the same bike George and I rode when we were young. And he'd take me in his arms. That's right, just like this. Come on, George, we've got to catch them. I can't even catch my breath. George, it's an emergency. Well, all right. Margaret, throw down the remote control. I'll guide you. Here it comes. Oh, no! Nice throw, Margaret. I suppose you could have done better. Oh, no! The Dirigia blimp is going up! Mm -hmm. And we're going down! No! Ah! Hit the brakes, George! Hit the brakes! Oh, no! Don't hit the brakes, George! Don't hit the brakes! Yeah! Uh. Hurry and bring them down, Henry. I'm getting poop. Kids, try to bring it down alongside that big rock. A-OK, -okay, ground control. This ought to do it. I just hope you know what you're doing. Hey, over here. Yikes! A bear! Pedal for all you're worth, George. Right now, I'm not worth much. Uh oh, time to throw some ballast overboard. What's ballast? Unwanted weight. Dennis Mitchell, don't you dare! She's right. Let's jettison the water bags, then her. Water. I need water. I'd give anything to be home right now, soaking in a hot tub. Whoa! Would you settle for a mud bath? Why don't you surface and see if the coast is clear? Why don't you? Why don't you look? No, oh, you look! Prepare for emergency rescue. Roger, Captain. All aboard! Uh, I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but thank you, Dennis. That's okay, Mr. Wilson. You want us to get your bike, too? Dennis, I'll gladly give you $20 if you leave it just where it is. 
If we don't hurry, we'll be late for the father and son picnic. Why can't moms go to the father and son picnic? Because then they couldn't call it a father and son picnic. Willie, how'd you get in there? Yikes, Willie, stop it! got loose too. You can't hold up the races any longer. The Mitchells will never show up. They've still got 14 seconds to get here. Come on, Dad, we're running out of time. We'll miss the races. I think it's too late already. Dennis, where are you going? Are we in time? Just barely, Dennis. Why bother to sign up? We're gonna win anyway. Like we always do. We've been practicing. Practicing what? Cheating. Yikes! <laughs> Dennis! Nice kid you got there, Mitchell. Next year we'll be housebroken. Come on, Sam. Contestants line up for the first event. The wheelbarrow race. On your mark, get set. Come on, Dad. Okay. Celebration. I'll get even with him for that. Hey, 
Dennis, I got a message for you. For me? Your dad wants you right away. He's up by the old mine. Thanks, Freckles. Good work, kid. Has anybody seen Dennis? Gee, this is a great place, Willie. But how do we get out of here? I'm sorry, Henry, but we can't hold up the next contest any longer. That's all right. I'm more worried about Dennis. Where could he be? him anywhere. Then the trophy's mine. Not so fast, Nelson. Let's see what the team scores are so far. for over an hour. Maybe I'd better call the police. Nelson can have the trophy. Gangway! I can't stop! Get out of the way! Yikes! Yow! Are you all right, Dennis? Here I am, Dad. How did you get in this car? It's a real long story. In that case, tell your father later. We have our last contest, the tug of war. It's a tie between the Mitchells and the Nelsons. Hey, great. Hey, great. Wow, wow. The, the trophy goes to the winner of the last contest, tug of war. We're gonna win this time, Dad. Get ready to eat mud, Mitchell. The team that pulls their opponents into the mud wins. <clears throat> Get on your mark. Get set. Go! Uh, 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 uh. This is gonna be easier than I thought, Mitchell. Uh oh. <laughs> 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 The best picnic we've ever been to. 
You know, a squirrel is a wild animal, not a pet like Ruff. Ruff, Ruff. And wild animals aren't happy when they're penned up. Oh, it'll be all right. I'll make them happy. You'll see. But how are you going to catch him? I need a cage. And I know just where to find one. Martha, what's that? What's all that noise? Mm, I'm sure I don't know, dear. Burglars, Martha, and in our attic. Burglars in the attic. Stay where you are, Martha. I'll deal with this. All right, you. You're under a... Hi, Mr. Wilson. That's sure a weird robe you got on. Dennis! Me and Ruff need to borrow this old birdcage. I'm gonna catch a squirrel. Talk to you later. Bye. One of these days. George Wilson, my new robe, you've ruined it. What did I do to deserve this? What? Please tell me. What? There he is. Let's get him. <laughs> Darn it, Ruff, we gotta be quieter. We scared him. Come on, pretty squirrel. Come right on into the nice warm cage. Come on. Okay, Ruff. We gotta surround him. You go that away around the tree, and I'll go this away. Ruff, Ruff.
Well, son, how's the squirrel hunt going? I figured out you were right, Dad. That squirrel wouldn't be happy in a stinky old cage. Besides, Ruff and I can have all kinds of fun trying to catch him tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs>